Good evening. We begin with heightened tensions on the Korean Peninsula. Late today, North Korea launched a pair of ballistic missiles, the latest volley in an eye for an eye show of force. Hours earlier, fighter jets and bombers from the U.S., Japan, and South Korea took to the skies. An allied response to Saturday's launch by North Korea of a long-range missile believed to be capable of reaching the U.S. and Canada. CTV senior political correspondent Glenn McGregor now on the escalation in Eastern Asia. In an already tense region, intimidating pictures of an intercontinental ballistic missile launch from North Korea yesterday. Setting the long-range Hwasong-15 from Pyongyang over 900 kilometers into the waters off the coast of Japan. And this afternoon, at least two more launches also landing in the Japanese sea. The success celebrated on state television as proof of the regime's ability to launch a nuclear attack. With leader Kim Jong-un's sister vowing North Korea will turn the Pacific into a firing range. And warning of powerful and overwhelming counteraction against every move hostile to us. The Kim regime claims the launches are a response to joint military exercises. Last night, Japanese and South Korean fighter jets flying alongside long-range U.S. bombers. The missile testing raises the possibility the North could launch an ICBM capable of reaching North America. Still unknown whether their weapons program can produce a nuclear warhead to mount on it. The multiple challenges we face today. The test on Saturday came during a meeting of defense officials in Germany. This is an outrageous act which escalates the level of provocation against the international community. Such act is absolutely unacceptable. The U.S. Secretary of State also denounced the launch and called for increased sanctions. This is uh, yet again uh, a uh, provocative act by uh, North Korea in violation of multiple U.S. Security Council resolutions. Canada had previously imposed economic sanctions and today added its voice to the chorus of condemnations with Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie calling the missile tests reckless. Sandy. Glenn in Ottawa. Thank you, Glenn.